six to eight percent of the companion animals come in shelters, the other 92 to 94 percent are home. Where'd they come from? How'd they get there? Once dogs or cats get to the shelter, what do we do with them? Instead of looking at that step before of how do we stop them from coming in in the first place. Well, first we've pretty much solved the dog overpopulation problem in the country by finding them new homes. Sure, we could take more animals from the kill shelters, but where are those animals going? It's just a big circle. <laughs> the resources seem to be going towards just speeding up this pipeline so that you can create a space for a new animal that's coming in. Everything at some point that comes to see me, somebody thought of killing. You are more likely to be bitten if you use the methods of the trainers that are quite popular on television. People just think they gotta force uh, dogs to exert dominance over them. That's rubbish. Which means what? Your dog's gonna be more likely to be euthanized. People have got it into their heads through what they read that this is appropriate behavior. and That's where the concept of dominance goes wrong. There are demographics for the dogs and they compete in an ever crowded marketplace. We want them to be family because it sounds nice, but we treat them as commodities. You know, they want what they want. So that's a big ethical question. I call that bad becoming normal. And it happens so slowly, people don't realize it. People don't want to hear about this stuff. They do not want to hear. That's why change is so difficult. They're not cars, they're sentient beings with feelings. And once they start having multiple homes, they're screwed. Well, that's interesting. Um, I think... So what's the answer? Ha! I don't know. What is the answer? If you feel guilty, it's probably because you are. <laughs>